Hey guys, it's Two Pro Overview Games or Adam, and welcome back to another one of my top five videos. And in today's top five, I'm going to be going over the top five pack a punched wonder weapons in Call of Duty Zombies. Now, I want to clarify that on this list, there's only going to be weapons or wonder weapons that can be pack a punched, that can be actually placed into the pack a punch machine. So the staffs from Origins, they do not count. Sure, you can upgrade them, but they cannot be placed into the Pack-A-Punch machine. This list will only contain weapons that can be Pack-A-Punched. You would think that there's a lot of different weapons in Zombies or Wonder Weapons that you can Pack-A-Punch. And once you Pack-A-Punch that Wonder Weapon, there is a distinct difference between the non-Pack-A-Punched version and the Pack-A-Punched version. But that's really not the case. Now on this list, I'm really focusing on the weapons or the Wonder Weapons that aren't infinite damage. Most Wonder Weapons are infinite damage and it's a one-shot until around a billion. But I'm focusing here on on the weapons that are not infinite damage because that's where you see really a big difference from the non pack of punched version and the pack of punched version. So the first weapon on my list is the Acid Gat upgraded to the Victrolic Withering. Now this is a pretty big difference between the non pack of punched version and the pack of punched version. Okay, so when you first get the Acid Gat the damage on this thing is pretty low. It's anywhere from 150 to 2,000 damage. Really not the highest damage, but once you pack a punch this thing, there is a huge jump in damage. And that's, it goes from, again, 150 to 2,000 to 1,500 to 7,500. So there is where you see a really big jump in the damage. And also, of course, like every other weapon, once you pack a punch it, you get a decent ammo increase and with the vitrolic withering you do get a uh, about 60 shot ammo increase which is pretty good for a wonder weapon coming into number four on my list i have the zeus cannon or the thunder gun upgraded to the zeus cannon now this is one of those weapons that there isn't really a crazy big difference definitely not such a difference like the vitrolic withering but the thing about the zeus cannon the reason why i had to put it in the number four spot is is how important is this gun to getting to high rounds? You see all those crazy high rounds in Black Ops 1 Zombies, especially Kino, and everybody is using the Zeus Cannon, or even Ascension. You see people get to around 160. None of that would be possible without the Thunder Gun or the Zeus Cannon. So all you really get from upgrading this is you get additional ammo, but that is so incredibly helpful in the high rounds and this is one of the best wonder weapons of all time in call of duty zombies just because how effective this thing really is this weapon is really effective and when you're around 90 or around 100 having a couple of extra shots can be very very beneficial and it can actually kill hundreds of zombies for you if you have an extra 10 shots instead of having you know 14 shots now you have 28 shots so it's really nice having that extra ammo and it can take you to an incredibly high round so no more infinite damage weapons on this list but coming in at the number three spot on my list i have the hyena infa dead from call of the dead and this is the upgraded scavenger so the scavenger normally has 5660 damage per shot and once you upgrade it your damage doubles and then you do 11320 now this is one of my favorite wonder weapons in zombies just because you feel so badass when you have this gun. Just the sound of that explosion and when you upgrade it you have the uh, that thermal scope. It is so epic just to see you know the zombies running around the map when you're far away from them. You're playing co-op or something and you can just see these little zombies running around the map with your with your thermal scope and you can just shoot across the map and it just destroys everything in the vicinity of the explosion. It is absolutely amazing. So when you do upgrade the scavenger, you do get bigger blast radius, of course, double the damage, more ammo 
camo, larger magazine, and you have the, uh, of course, the infrared scope, and you can actually zoom in with the infrared scope. So you do get a lot of extra things when you pack a punch to the scavenger, so that's why I had to put it in the number three spot on my list. I'm sorry, I actually did lie. There is another infinite damage weapon on my list, and that is the 3179 JGB 215 or the Fractalizer or the Baby Maker from Shangri La. I didn't really actually realize that this gun was infinite damage, but it is. Now, uh, of course, there is no difference in the damage from when you upgrade this weapon because it is infinite damage. Uh, but the one thing that I really like about this weapon, and I think this is one of the most underrated weapons or wonder weapons in Call of Duty Zombies. This thing is actually really good and really effective. If this was on some of the other maps, I can guarantee you this would be one of the best wonder weapons in all of Zombies. I think it's almost better than the uh, Thunder Gun in a way. But anyways, that's for a different video. When you pack a punch this weapon, the best thing is, is when you shoot this gun and the orb comes out of your weapon, it has a bigger radius of where it turns zombies into the baby zombies. And that was always a problem for me with the non-pack-a-punch version. I would shoot it into a group of zombies and it wouldn't turn all of the zombies in that train into baby zombies depending on how spread out the train is. And the best thing about this pack-a-punch version is it pretty much it turns your whole entire train, you know, unless it's extremely spaced out, but if it's like spaced out quite a bit, it will still turn all of the zombies into baby zombies, which is really, really nice. And then of course you have increased uh, magazine and ammo. And also a really good thing is the zombies will stay uh, shrunk for longer, which is also nice. Actually, quite a bit longer. I think it's like an extra 10 seconds or so. So you have a, a longer period of time where you can actually run over the zombies and kill the zombies. So coming in at number one on my list, and some of you may disagree with the number one spot, like a lot of you do disagree with my number one spot in a lot of my top fives, but I had to put in the ray gun in the number one spot. The ray gun is on every single map, and it can be pack-a-punched on a lot of the maps, and I just always thought that the ray gun pack-a-punched was just so much better than the regular ray gun. Now, if you actually look at the stats, it's not that crazy uh, of a difference. Um, the regular ray gun's damage is uh, 1,000 when you actually hit the zombie, and then it's 1,500 to 300 with splash damage. And for the upgraded ray gun, the uh, direct shot stays the same at 1,000, but when you do splash damage, it is 2,000 to, or 300 to 2,000. So it's only an extra 500 damage, but the thing about the ray gun is you can really spam this weapon. So having this low damage is, or not, I shouldn't say low damage, but having this somewhat low damage for a wonder weapon, it really isn't a problem because you can spam tons of shots in a couple of seconds. It's got a high rate of fire with uh, 181 and you, know, you add double tap to that and it doesn't matter. You can just spam so many shots so fast. Of course, you do get more ammo. You get a larger clip, which is really, really nice. Also, one thing that a lot of people don't know about is lower splash damage to the player when you pack a punch this weapon you don't get so so much damage from the splash of this weapon uh of course you have phe flop or it doesn't matter but if you don't that could be very very helpful at keeping you alive a little bit longer and the last thing with this weapon when you pack a punch it is you get tons of uh, multipliers for like the head, neck, chest, abdomen, uh, upper body, you know, lower body, hands, feet, everything like that. You get a whole bunch of extra multipliers. So anyways, guys, that is all for now. Make sure you leave this video a thumbs up and in the comment section below, let me know if you disagree or agree with my top five list. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.